Good morning, guys. It's Ashley from the Passion Pink Hunter, and we are Croptober Day 7. Tonight's dinner is going to be amazing. I'm already so excited for it. I've never made either one of these recipes, but I already can't wait. Um, I We are going to make um, sweet and savory pork tenderloin. We are going to make Aunt Jerry's Gourmet Potatoes. And we are going to make Rocky Road Chocolate Cake. That is going to have to leave my house as soon as it's, <laughs> as soon as it's done. Because I'm going to have to stay out of that one. So, I think I'm going to uh, bless my husband's work with that one tomorrow. I'll, uh, I think I have a meeting today. So, I'm going to send it with him tomorrow. And they can enjoy that. So, it's not seen in my house with temptation. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, as you guys are hopping on, say hello. Um, we are giving away 10 slow cookers between the beginning of October and the end of October. So if you do not have, let me grab my set right here, you guys. If you do not have slow cooker volume two, you need to grab it. It is awesome. It's amazing. It makes life so much easier. Um, so make sure you grab this. Uh, my friend Bridget is going to drop the link in the um, comments if you are interested in grabbing that. So to be entered for the crock pot, you have to um, have purchased or purchased soon um, slow cooker one or slow cooker two. So we have the original, we have two. And um, like and share the video and you guys will be entered to um, win 10 amazing slow cookers. So, all right, here we go. Sweet and savory pork tenderloin. I have a tenderloin. Um, I think mine's about two pounds. So you need a one and a half to two pound pork tenderloin. Congratulations. Um, Denise, we're still picking all through October. So hang in there. If you win, you will get an email. Um, but don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. Um, we're going to do 10 through throughout the month. So anyway, what box of the chicken enchiladas in? Ooh, I think slow cooker one. Now you're really going to test me. I think. I love those boxes in there. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so we are browning this pork tenderloin this morning. And again, I've never made either one of these. Well, well and the dessert too. So we are going to brown this. I can get you guys down in the food this morning. Let me show you what is happening. It already smells so good. And I'm going to have some super happy people for dinner tonight. I can't wait. All right. Let's flip these guys over. Put a little bit more brown on the other side. Okay, so what I put some, this is my, I love this crock pot. You can brown and everything in it. It's like my ultimate favorite. So um, I put olive oil and salt and pepper in my pork tenderloin and I threw it in here. And I just want to get everything, all the sides brown, okay? And then um, when that's done, I'm going to place an onion and a pork in the cooker, which I'm already just cooking in it. So convenient, I don't have to clean up another pan. It's awesome. So give me just a couple of seconds here, and we will get going on the other. Ooh, yum, 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 you guys. Look at this. So amazing. I hope you guys have been enjoying Croptober. I have been loving it, making my life so much easier. Good morning, Annette. Denise got boxes when they came out. Love them both. Denise, doesn't it just make life so much easier? Like, truly. Um, my sweet little Liam, you guys. He is so under the weather, bless his heart. He has been under the weather for quite some time. Um, he's got proof right now, and it's just so sad and so pitiful. But he's up resting in my bed, me um, watching the Mario movie. So, anyway, that cute little boy needs his rest so, so bad. Oh. Makes the mama's heart break. But he's a trooper. He is a trooper. Good morning, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. All right, you guys, this is looking fantastic. Okay, I think we're putting brown on all the sides. So then what we are going to do is 
um, I just have an onion that I've quartered. So I'm going to just kind of squeeze these in here without splashing myself too bad. Um, thanks, Chris. It is so sad to see see your little ones when they don't feel good and you kind of feel helpless. Thank you, thank you. Um, Nancy, you would love a link to the crock pot. Um, Bridget is on it and she's amazing and awesome. They don't make this version anymore, of course. Um, but if you look right there in the comments, Bridget has um, put the equivalent to the slow cooker in there right now. Thank you, Bridget. Um, okay, so we put the onion and then we are going to do a half a cup of brewed tea to the skillet. So I have already brewed my tea. Here's my tea. So I'm going to just do a half a cup. And I'm going to pour this in here. All right. I had to, um, Sheree is the amazing, awesome person who um, writes all these menu plans. So I had a messenger yesterday and I was like, Sheree, help me out. What do you mean by strong tea? And she said, just take a cup of water and a tea bag and let that sit and then just take a half a cup of that. So don't be, don't be, don't be confused because I was confused too. I had, <laughs> I had a messenger yesterday because I had no idea. Uh, did I miss the name of the crock pot? Shelly, that, this is a Ninja cooking system. Um, Bridget has dropped the, yes, it is, Linda, it is a Ninja. Um, Shelly has dropped it in the comments, and um, it's one of the ones that you can cook, um, you can saute in it, as well as just leave it in there and then let it be the slow cooker for the day. It is so awesome. Um, so what kind of crockpot is that? Barb, this is a ninja and it's kind of your all in one. So you can brown, you can, so like when I do chili and stuff, I just put the hamburger and onion and stuff in it and add in all my stuff, stir it up and let it sit for the day. So, and then I'm not, um, washing also pans. So it is by far my most favorite crockpot. I actually just, um, blessed myself and bought a new liner because my other one was so beat up. So anyway, um, all right. So we are going to cook this on high for just a second to loosen the brown pieces on the bottom of my slow cooker. And then I am going to cover and cook on high for an hour. Okay. So I'm going to kick this guy before I forget to an hour. And luckily it will beep at me in an hour. Okay. So. We're going to walk through this. It's going to cook on high for an hour, okay? And then um, once this beeps at me, I'll come over and I will um, throw it on low for six hours, okay? Now, here comes the a little bit more involved part. Not too bad, but it's more than just throwing your meat in a crock pot. Okay, so when it is cooked, you're going to take, I'm going to take the liquid out of here and put it in a saucepan, and I probably will, um, use like a baster or something and um, pour it in the saucepan. And then I am going to um, boil that for six to eight minutes. And then you are going to add jelly. And I just have a raspberry um, seedless jelly or jam. I have a jam. Um, I, I messaged Sheree again yesterday and she was like, really, truly, you can use any jelly or jam that you like with this. So um, any flavors, pretty much you're going to be good to go. So you're going to add the jelly. Um, you're going to do some chili sauce, um, just brown sugar, and then a balsamic vinegar, and then crushed red pepper, and then some cherries, frozen cherries. Yum, 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 you guys. This is going to be so delicious. I am super excited, excited about this one. Um, Amy, we are making the sweet and savory pork tenderloin right here this morning. It sounds delicious. I cannot wait to eat it. Um, okay. So that basically is done, you guys, until, um, yeah, until after it's done cooking and I make the sauce to put over top of it. And we are good to go with that one. Look at that. That is super exciting. Okay. I'm going to slide this guy over here. Now. Next, we are going to make, good morning, Deb, thanks for joining us. I am going to try to get you guys over here. We're just going to take a whole tour of my crazy kitchen this morning. Um, 
Hopefully I can get you guys in here. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe not. Let me put you over here then. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to like make you dizzy this morning. Anyway. All right. I will pull the thing over here. Okay. We are making on this side of the counter, we are making Aunt Jerry's gourmet potatoes. They look, not look, sound amazing. Sound, sound amazing. Okay. So I cheated. Confess. Confession. I cheated. You're supposed to boil your own potatoes and then grate them. I gotta say, kiddo, mama doesn't have time for that right now. Bless his heart. Um, these guys are going to substitute for me today. Super easy. They are just simply potatoes. And poor Sheree really heard from me all day yesterday. And um, we decided that like a pack and a half is gonna be equivalent to um, the six potatoes that the um, um, gourmet potatoes call for. You know what I'm just thinking, and I don't know you guys, um, today is prime day. Um, I don't know if that slow cooker would be an awesome deal on Prime today or not, but it is definitely worth a look. So if you are really interested in that crock pot, 110% recommend. Like I will keep buying liners until the day that guy dies. So I love that crock pot. It's my favorite. Okay, so what we have here, because I can't get you guys over here, this is a cheesy mixture, and it is, let me tell you what this is, you guys. Um, it is... Four tablespoons of butter and two cups of cheddar cheese, okay? And I am just slowly melting this on the stove. I'm gonna bump it up just a little bit. Need to get it all ooey and gooey in here. I hope I didn't burn it while I was making the tenderloin over here, but I think we're good. It just needs to get all ooey and gooey. It's kind of lumpy. I like lumpy cheese. Good morning, Char. It's on sale. Denise, is it on sale? Perfect. Perfect. It's, it is worth its weight in gold. I absolutely love it. All right. So, um, you're supposed to boil your potatoes and shred them. I totally cheated and bought those kind. Um, in a large saucepan, you're going to melt four tablespoons of butter and cheese until the cheese is almost melted, stirring it occasionally. So then I'm going to take it off the heat and I'm going to stir in sour cream. All right, don't bring this, girlfriend. All right, you guys. I think we're good. All right, we're gonna take this off. You guys let me. I did not set up my kitchen very well today. I am so sorry, you guys. Okay, I will just slide you back over here and I'm going to bring it all over here so that you can watch this come together, hopefully. Hopefully, all right. So here is my melted cheese. Here's my little casserole dish. And all of my ingredients. Hopefully I don't spill anything. This is the chocolate cake and that is not gonna help me make this recipe. <laughs> all right, you guys. So. In here, we are going to add in one and a half cups of sour cream. Sorry, I tell ya, my brain is a little scattered today. All right, one and a half cups of sour cream. Get this down in here. All right, here's one. These are gonna be so creamy. I think my kids are really gonna enjoy these. Most of them, let's just put that out there. <laughs> Most of them. All right, one and a half cups of sour cream, and then we're gonna do a third a cup of, um, um, yeah, chopped green onions, sorry. I didn't uh, think of the name of it right there and it's sitting in front of me. So, here's a third of a cup of onions, and then it says a teaspoon of salt, um, salt here, all right, teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper, uh, here's my pepper, All right, you guys, and then I'm gonna mix this all up. Get that all out of 
my way. Let's see, the ninja's on sale today, yay! I have a ninja and you love it, Tammy. It's, it is the best, I promise you, it is the best. Um, if you're gonna do all kinds of different cooking and stuff, yeah, absolutely, 100% recommend it. Um, it's, it's definitely money up front, but it saves so many dishes and all kinds of stuff. So, oh, you guys, this is starting to look divine. Oh my goodness, okay. So, we are going to get this all fold in potatoes and put it into a greased nine by 13 pan. I did not grease it yet, so bear with me, guys. All right, I'm gonna spur in my pan now. All right, I don't know if I'll need that again. And then I'm gonna open these potatoes and we are going to put them, uh, we're just gonna stir them up in the pan, okay? Make sure I'm reading this right. Fold in potatoes. Okay. I'm gonna just do a little bit on time. You know what? I don't know if one bag is gonna be enough. We're gonna just play with it, you guys. Because I don't want them to be like dry. So we are just gonna mess with it. Sheree and I were estimating a bag and a half yesterday, but I don't know, one bag might do it. I have two of the ninjas, Wendy. I have two of the newer versions. Love, 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 well worth the money. Yes, absolutely, Wendy. Um, mine's a little bit older. I mean, they don't make it anymore, unfortunately, but hey, as long as they keep making them, they are fantastic. They're definitely um, a good Christmas present or um, Prime Day deal, but yes, they are well worth their weight in gold. I use it so often. And it's so handy that um, if your liner gets funky, then um, really it's just a just a quick um, quick purchase. I think my liner was like nineteen dollars or something, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't horrible at all. Okay, you guys, this is looking magnificent over here. I'm telling you. Okay, now, I don't know. I think, I think we're good. I'm afraid to put in more. Okay, we're gonna call that good. All right, and we are going to put it in the nine by 13. Again, I am so sorry, you guys. I am all over the place this morning. Scoot you back so you can get the nine by 13 pan. Okay, we are gonna dump this in here. And we are going to, oops, dump this, smooth this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all ready to go um, for dinner tonight, and then I'm going to just throw it in the fridge. And when it is time for dinner, in between running the kids all around, my husband can even pop this in the oven for us. And the, um, we could probably even finish the uh, pork tenderloin because it's not that hard. Okay, so I'm probably going to 129. Okay, Janelle, perfect. If you can, grab it, because it's amazing. I love your sweater, thank you, Corey. Um, I do the Stitch Fix box, and I just got it. It's my first time wearing it, so thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, now we are going to, it says dot with the remaining two tablespoons of butter. So oh, they're getting kind of soft, so I'm just gonna lay these little guys on here as I stick them mostly to my fingers. That's okay. All right. There are little pieces of butter on top of that. I'm gonna wipe off my fingers before I get super sticky. And then um, sprinkle with paprika. And yep, I do. I was gonna say, I think I got that out. Okay. Then we're gonna put a little paprika on here. If I start cooking like this during October, my husband's gonna think I'm jipping him on the other <laughs> other months of the year. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Okay, so here we go. Here's our awesome, amazing potatoes. 
and we are, when it comes time, I'm gonna throw these in the oven for 30 minutes at 350, okay? So there we go. Looks amazing. I cannot wait to eat that. So just set that one back here. Okay, all right. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting there, okay. We are going to move down to the end of the counter and we are going to make the cake. Um, let me see what you guys are saying. Have the Asian lettuce wraps been made, Kimberly? I don't think so. Um, Julie, what box is it, is it in? This is in Slow Cooker Volume 2. Tea for uncles, ladies. It's only 92 with coupons. Janelle, good snag. You guys hear that? My slow cooker is cheaper at Kohl's today. So, love you, shortcut with hash browns. But Beth, I wouldn't have thought of that if I wouldn't have talked um, talked to Sheree yesterday. She was like, Ashley, I I would just use the hash browns, and I was like, oh, have a sick kiddo. Like, what a blessing. So, yes, if you want to take the shortcut, take the shortcut. If you want to cook your potatoes, go for it. Okay, all right, guys, come on down here. We are going to make. This yummy, delicious cake. And I think the heat guys are calling me at the moment, but I have to finish this cake. Our heat is out upstairs. It's been in the 30s. They're not supposed to come until noon today. So anyway, I hope that's not bothering you guys. All right. I'm going to swivel you around this way. Okay. Now. Um, we are making a Rocky Road chocolate cake. Okay, somebody said the Asian lettuce wraps are next Monday. We make those all the time. That is amazing. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Um, Rocky Road chocolate cake. I am going to dump in, word to the wise, Lori told me to go ahead and put the uh, um, liner in the crock pot. So, I already did that this morning. Um, gosh, I feel like you guys aren't going to see very well. Are we up as high as we normally are? Maybe that'll help you guys. Okay, let me grab the scissors. We're just moving all over today. I'm telling ya. Slowly start that. Okay. All right, you guys bear with me. This girl doesn't have her eyes together today. She's open. Okay. You are going to take a German chocolate cake mix. And you are going to dump it in your bowl. All right. And then we are going to take the next five ingredients and get them in here. And that is a 3.9 ounce um, instant chocolate pudding. To try the Asian lettuce chops. They are amazing. They're like, they're one of my favorites for sure. Um, Irene, I am making Rocky Roll chocolate cake. And if somebody would just take all the calories out of it, it would be a happy day. Oh, okay, I'm gonna dump this pudding in here. Okay, and then three eggs. gonna be so yummy you guys this has to be out of my house I have no uh, mm -hmm. I have no um when it comes to sweets I can't handle them okay um, a third a cup of melted butter so let me melt this really quickly All right, we're melting some butter. Let's see what else we need to put in here. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla.
half teaspoons of vanilla. Get that in there. Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me get the butter. We are just all over the place. All right, let's see. Which recipe is this? We are making Rocky Road chocolate cake for um, Crocktober. We are gonna make this and dump it in the crock pot. And all right, here is our melted butter. Okay. I hope those heat guys don't show up. People. Oh, let me tell you. Okay. All right, we are going to mix this. Okay, wait, it says next five ingredients and one and a quarter cup of milk. All right, let me grab it. everywhere. Hoping the heat guy doesn't show up in the middle of my Facebook live today to fix our heat. All right. Here we go. We are going to mix this up and dump it in the crock pot. Oh man, that smells amazing. in the crock. You can't even see. You don't need to see my face. You need to see what's going on over here, you guys. I'm telling you. Let's just have those days. Well, yep, today's the day. <laughs> okay, too many things happening at once, but we'll make it. I was just kind of just anxious this morning trying to get this stuff done, and my sick boy and the heat company is supposed to, not supposed to be coming until noon, and I think they're on their way right now. Oh, and we need our heat fix because my kids are freezing upstairs. Oh my goodness, I tell ya. Okay. All right. Put that in there, okay? And then we are going to sprinkle. Oops, sorry guys, I'm just being crazy today. We are going to Let's see. Okay, I'll bring you over here. I am, bless your heart, I am boiling milk. You need to take two cups of milk. Not like you want to come over here and see the milk boiling. I mean, how exciting is that? Okay, I just have milk boiling on the stove. Well, not boiling. I um, it says to Cook remaining two cups of milk over medium heat for three to five minutes. And it says you do not want to let it boil, okay? So just until the bubbles appear, but do not boil, okay? Good morning, guys. All right, we are slowly waiting for the, um, yeah, the milk to boil. All right. Okay. okay, so when this is done, we are going to dump it over the cake batter and sprinkle. Let me grab. We are going to sprinkle. The other one was an instant pie filling, and this one is a cook and serve. Okay. So, um, when this is done... We are going to sprinkle this over it. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, if it's not one thing, it's something. 
open, isn't it? Just gonna take it to bed. Thank you, Vale. It's been chilly. We've got two, and we've got one upstairs and one downstairs. The downstairs one has been great. Um, I mean, we dropped into the 30s last night. It was like 35 around here. So the kids were chilly, but um, they were excited to come down and eat breakfast this morning. So the camera angle is not good. Everything you're doing. Okay. Thank you, Darlene. This is this is crazy. I am sorry. Um, I'm just boiling milk on the stove right now. Macy, I don't know if you, you probably can't even see in the, at my, my, my pot over there. But I'm just waiting for this to boil, and then we're going to go back over to the crock pot. Um, so we've, this is um, slow cooker number two, you guys. Um, here is the, if you do not have it, it is amazing. Um, this one is just a little bit healthier than slow cooker number one, or the original. But it is none other, it's amazing. It's delicious. Um, some of our favorite recipes are from that. Okay, somebody wants to see the crock again. Okay, while we are waiting on milk to heat. I will show you the crock again. Perfect. Okay. Come on over guys. All right. Here is the crock pot. Give you guys a good angle. Um, it does all kinds of things. Don't look how dirty it is. I can't believe I'm going to show you. Um, but yes, it steams. It does the stove top. It bakes. Um, it's high, low, medium. I've never used, it has some like layered bowls and quick meals and grains and stuff. I've never really, uh, been into or attempted to use any of those. Um, but I just cooked the, um, tenderloin in that before, um, just browned it in there before. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here. I don't want to burn this milk. That could be a hot mess. You guys. Okay. Let me see. If we're getting any bubbles just yet. Nope. It's warm. Let me tell you. Let's kick it up a little bit more. Does it saute? Yes, Corey, it does. Absolutely. Yep. It has a stovetop feature, feature, so you can um, saute all kinds of stuff. Um, let's see. I like, we do our chili in it. Um, I just, we do, I do so many things. Yes, Amy, it is so convenient just having one dirty pan, really, truly. Okay. I think I'm hearing bubbles. I don't want this to burn you guys. Ooh, roasting. Okay. We don't want it to boil, but just before we get to a boil. All right, guys, we're getting there. It's a going. There, um, um, Bridget just dropped in. Oh, you guys. I'm so sorry that, that Heating people are calling me. <laughs> Spoon rest, Stephanie. You know what? That would be a great Christmas present. I am going to put that on my list. Because you know what? I get to clean up after this. <laughs> I'm telling you, with four kiddos, my brain is always just everywhere. Somehow we make it through. Somehow we make it. <laughs> One day at a time is my philosophy. But yes, I'm going to ask for a spoon rest so I don't have to always clean off my countertop. Great idea. I love that. I love it, love it, love it. We're starting to get some steam over here. You can answer and it won't mess up video. That's okay, Renee. <laughs> um, they told me between 12 and 5. I appreciate them coming out, but... Well, maybe just a couple more minutes. I just have to get this to boil and we're going to dump it on the cake and sprinkle the cake and let it cook. And then um, we'll do... I'll put some pictures in the end of the post tonight. Um, you put some marshmallows... And you're going to toast a couple, um, I think they're pecans, and then um, marshmallows, chocolate chips, and pecans are going to go on the top of this. So it's going to be delicious. Delicious. You're doing great. Amy, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I always buy my children a whole gift card. Yes. Vicki, that is, I'm telling you what, you cannot go wrong with that. That is a fantastic gift. I'm telling ya. Okay. All right, you guys, we're getting some bubbles in here. And I do not want to burn it. Okay. All right, let's go. Bring you guys back down here. So sorry for the craziness today. All right, here we come. Oh my goodness.
goodness, you guys are really gonna fall over. Okay, all right. There's the crock, all right. Okay, now, so that I do not get this wrong, I'm gonna read instructions one more time. Oh my gosh, I have you guys so crooked. Oh, Ashley. Okay. So we put that in there, remove from heat, sprinkle, cook and serve pudding all over the cake and then pour the milk on it. Okay, give me a hot second. All right. This is going to be amazing. All right. So that was the um, cook and serve. So did that. Pour the hot milk over the pudding slowly. Ooh, it's splashing everywhere. Should be doing this so that you guys can see this. I'm so sorry. This mama's brain is fried. Okay. But I'll tell you one thing. We're gonna have an amazing dinner tonight. Okay. Now we are going to cover this up and I am going to cook it for three and a half hours. Okay. Oh, you guys, this looks amazing. And then you are going to um, toast your pecans. And then you are going to put marshmallows and chocolate chips on top and just put the lid on it for just a little bit longer till they melt and the marshmallows poof up. Okay, you guys, I'm going to bring you down here because I've taken you everywhere today. You've got to get a closer look of the, um, the crock pot here. There is the cake. It looks amazing. Absolutely delicious. And um, I will, if I remember, hopefully I do, um, I will stick a um, picture in the end of the post of the pork after we make it, finish it, and then the um, Rocky Road cake before we ship it out the door because it does not need to stay in my house. So, okay, I'm going to make a sour cream. Oh, Vicki, that sounds so good. Oh my goodness, so, so good. Um, cook on a high or low, the cake is going to be on um, low, sorry. We are going to put it on low for three and a half hours, okay? And then shut it off and then put the toasted pecans and chocolate chips and marshmallows on top and then um, just kind of let that all melt together on the top and then um, you have an amazing dessert, dinner, and potatoes. Um, so yes, thank you for not bearing with me today. Guys, life's just kind of all over the place. I'll probably be all over the place again on Friday. I get to um, do Freezer Friday with you guys, so I am super excited about that. Um, you guys have an awesome day. Um, make something yummy for your dinner, something yummy for your family for dinner tonight. It does not have to be this. Um, but, um, yeah, enjoy the day and, um, I'll see you guys on Friday. Thank you.